New channel I just got hip to. Oh my gosh, this sister bringing the heat. Listen. People sit up here and say, if this guy, if, they, if it's coming through the clouds, it's not Jesus and this and this and that. That's because you don't understand about prophecy. All the things that happen inside of Revelations, many of the things that happen in Revelations already happened. That happened to our ancestors earlier on in the fourth part, which is this part of the world, before any of these folks got over here. They came over here killing and pillaging in South America, in the Northern Kingdom, and in the Southern Kingdom, as well as inside of Canada, all these other places. They went around killing millions of Millions! People. Millions! Okay? We are at that part of the story where people think, oh, it's going to take a while to get to there. No, we're already there, baby. Indeed. You understand? The mark of the beast. The mark <laughs> of the beast has always been your money. You it's been your money! What do you... You're forced... You're forced to go work and earn an income. For what? Money. In order for you to sustain your life. You're forced to earn money in order to sustain your life. That is the mark of the beast, okay? You cannot buy nor sell without this beast, which is money. Okay? Those that are buying has the money. Those that are selling need the money. It's all about the money. Okay? Money. That's the almighty dollar is being worshipped. Okay? People are selfish. We live in a selfish capitalist society. It's all about the almighty dollar. That is the mark of the beast. This sister bringing it out. Spiritual light passing through. Now you may not be able to get past a little bit of profanity, but this sister got the, she got the light. She got the light. Are you going to ignore it? Because there's a little bit of profanity. They ain't do nothing without it. What does America do to anybody who don't fuck with them and their money? They make a war and try to kill you and take your resources. That's what they do. They've been doing it all this time. Do you understand? You just don't know the time in which you're in because they've lied to you and had you sitting your ass inside these churches being told <laughs> lies by people in well-dressed suits. And given authority by the worst of the heathen. You literally had to go study under the worst of the heathen in order to gain and earn your degree. In order to get your degree, you had to get it from the worst of the heathen. So what do you think you're doing? You're regurgitating what you learned from the worst of the heathen and you think you doing something because you got all your money and your status and your clout. But I'm on the bottom. I live in hard housing in the ghetto. But I got the oracles of my father. And he is sustaining my life. I don't look to the beast in order to sustain my life anymore because he's woken me up and he's given me his word. I have the prophecies. I understand why you get up every single day and go to your job day in and day out and you think you doing something. You slave five, six days a week. Some of you even seven days, you working on your damn day off. You spend all your time, energy, and effort funding the beast. And it all irks the hell out of me. I don't want to have anything to do with this satanic beast system. I'm here to help destroy this system. Because it has oppressed me my entire freaking life. And I didn't know why. I had no understanding. I just knew I hated this system. And I knew the 
that there was something wrong with it. But I had no articulation back then. I had I had no real understanding of, of what I was feeling and why. I was just so vastly different than everybody, so I was ostracized on top of hating this world. You know, I was hated. I was never accepted in this world. I was an oddball from Kit. You don't know what time it is. Just as late in the game. We're coming to the part where basically we're being spiritually resurrected right now. The dry bones are becoming alive and animated. That's the reason why you see more and more people. You understand? I don't have a problem with camps and things like that. It's just I wish they would just read a little bit more. I really do. Because I think these gentlemen could really take this to other levels if they wanted to and really get people prepared for things. But I know the Most High is going to touch those different places if it's meant for them to know. You understand? Touch different groups of people and make them go a little bit further and start putting the dots together with history so you can understand what's going on here. And he said that it will be his children that will put the dots together and wake up in the land of their captivity and remember who they are. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And people like me, Big Judah, Adul Asiya, Brother Man, all of these different people are trying to get you to wake your ass up. Like, come on. Some people don't want to wake up. Some people want to stay in it in La La Land a little longer, okay? <laughs> Y'all want to stay in the area where Pinocchio was where they turned <laughs> everybody into asses, okay? That time is over with. Now it's time to like really wake up to understand Bruh. what's happening. No other time in history has this ever happened. So this is the reason why I do understand that this is a very pertinent time right now. Very important time. Because people say, well, you know, um, and when when we had wars before, people thought these were the last days, and that was the last days, and this and this and happened. A lot of different things are a little bit different than they was when I heard that same statement when I was younger. I heard my grandma said, these are the last days we living in, look at the weather and all this other stuff. Well, I'm sorry, back in the 80s and 90s, the sun still looked like a normal sun to me. We had a couple of bad storms here and there, but it was never like this. And never had not the church not been packed. Right now, we have a pandemic that makes it where most people are very scared to be inside these crowds. Now, you got some diehard Christians that's going to go to church any damn way, but majority of people saying, no, I don't think I'm about ready to go back in the church and be around people right now, especially with this, you know, this uh, plague going on right now. So more people are on here trying to find different people who are talking about the word, and they're falling on this knowledge more and more every day so they're beginning to wake up and people are starting to read now and understand you understand so everybody's not sitting around blind anymore all right so that wasn't happening when i was in high school that wasn't happening when i was in college this is like the biggest awakening i have ever seen and I'm not sure about you, but I know it's a lot more people talking about this subject now, not, you know, on social media as well as on platforms like this. So I know I'm not the only one seeing this. And a lot of people are starting to feel a little different about how things are right now. So when people say they don't know if it is or not, you know, if, if, the, if the end is here or not, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the sun doing things it didn't do back in the 80s. Okay? <laughs> right. I've never seen the sun cook plants from the inside out right. that's not something that normally happened now yeah. were they messing with the weather and going in and out of the stratosphere punch of holes in the ozone and yeah. all of that we don't know how bad it is now nasa is no longer a government entity it's a private entity so we don't know how many times they punch it through that atmosphere and that ozone causing all kind of problems on this planet we don't know mm -hmm. no but no 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 bruh <clears throat> the father has led me to sealed books that talks about this, okay? Now, the diabolical things that these heathens are doing is going to cause their own destruction, okay? The sun ain't doing what it's doing out of, in and of itself, all because, you know, just randomly. No, these devils done done shit, okay? So now... They're gonna reap the repercussions that comes from their actions, okay? Their stupidity, 
All right. Because all they know how to do is destroy, bro. So destruction is about to come upon their head. Because all they've done is destroy. Everything was set in motion to bring life and abundance. But no, they had to change that. And so now the destruction that's coming is because of them. All right, and they're not going to be able to escape from it. But those of you that have the ears to hear, the heart to receive, and the eyes to see, you have an opportunity to be spared. You have an opportunity to be saved from the great destruction that is coming upon the wicked. Okay, because the wicked got to build up their atrocities for hundreds of years. Okay, literally centuries. All right, they, they got to build up their atrocities. Judgment starts at the house of the Most High. His people has been in captivity. His people has been judged right away. We still being judged. Okay. We're like, bro, we are under subjection. All right. That's why the, actually the whole damn world is under subjection. Now it's not just Israel. That's why you have to work your job. Okay. That's why you have to work nine to five in order to make ends meet. Okay. That's slavery. That's bondage. Okay. But bro. The, the father has raised up some of us to work in a vineyard. So you will have an opportunity to be spared. And those that give ear, you have to first give ear in order to hear. And once you hear, the father can work on your heart and cause you to receive it. Okay. Then once you can receive it, it can open up your eyes. Or it doesn't matter like which which uh comes first. He can go, he can, oh he can remove the scales from your eyes, you know, before you even come here. So you you can be seeing and you can be wondering what the hell is really going on. You could be searching for truth, okay? And then he leads you over to you know this channel or spiritual light passing through or some other freaking channel that the father is using to bring out his word he can give you the ears to hear he can give you the heart to receive but you gotta first be seeking you gotta first want the truth okay if you walking around here complacent and comfortable in this world in this system well bruh if you comfortable in that, you complacent in that, you ain't asking no questions. Already, we already know that you, you ain't got no light, okay? Because you're comfortable with Satan, okay? You're comfortable with the evil powers that be, okay? Life has been hell for me because I've never been comfortable with Satan. I've never been comfortable with the evil powers that be that didn't set themselves up in authority over me and over this entire earth and over all creation. Okay? I had a problem with that. You understand? But the reality is, is that the time is lining up with a lot of literature in which we're reading and that cannot be denied okay so there's a lot of things that's happening right now and i think a lot of us need to take time read and and, and I'm, I'm not really big on reading things on here but i wanted to read that to you so you can understand your brother ain't playing no games with y'all mm -hmm. this is it's a wrap for this it's a wrap for this no matter how much your gentiles want to rock about your ass back to sleep it's not happening every time you try. I mean, I looked at the news. One, if Hong Kong was shut down and, and locked up because they got a high surge inside this, you know, inside Rona. Now you got Shanghai locked up and because and, they got a high surge and over there in China and things like that. And then Europe is having a problem. The numbers here in Chicago are ticking up. You, they can try to dance and, and hop and hopscotch around this subject all they want to. <laughs> At the end of the day, something big is going on. And we all see it and we all feel it. But anyway, 
I ain't going to keep you all much longer. I don't like having long videos, but I will see you guys in the next video. You all take care. Bye-bye. See, I love this sister, bro. I love... Man, <clears throat> I am so glad that I was plugged to this channel. I love this channel. All right? Like, uh, bro, I just wish it was a little bit louder. I wish the volume was louder. I literally had to turn my volume up to 70 in order to hear this sister. But um, I love this channel, okay? She's spitting up my facts, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Shalom.